Now I am gonna solve this classwork and the classwork is very important. Please focus on my video. Here area equals to 35 centimeter square, length equals to 20 centimeter long and head equals to 60 centimeter and the discharge equals to 120 millimeter in 6 minute and we have also dry weight dry weight equals to 1120 gram and finally specific gravity equals to 2.68 i have written all the information and let's find hydraulic conductivity in centimeter per second we know this charge equals to qt and q equals to k i a into t here i is hydraulic gradient and i equals to h over l so k equals to q over a i t and q l over a h t so that i equals to h over l And the answer is hydraulic conductivity equals to 3.17 into 10 inverse 3 centimeter per second. The next question is to find discharge velocity. We know flow rate equals to discharge velocity into area so velocity equals to flow rate over area and flow rate equals to discharge over t divided by area So discharge velocity will 9.5 into 10 inverse 3 centimeter per second and we should know another formula of discharge velocity alternative way we know discharge velocity equals to k i where k equals to hydraulic conductivity and i equals to hydraulic gradient so we know k equals to 3.17 into 10 inverse 3 and i equals to h over l h equals to 60 and L equals to 20 so discharge velocity will 9.5 into 10 inverse 3 centimeter per second and the final question is to find seepage velocity We know seepage velocity equals to discharge velocity over porosity. So let's find porosity. We know 
dry unit weight equals to dry weight over volume here given that dry weight equals to 1120 gram and volume equals to area into length here area is 35 and length is 20 so dry unit weight will 1.6 gram per centimeter cube now we have to calculate void ratio dry unit weight equals to specific gravity into water unit weight over 1 plus void ratio so void ratio will 2.68 into 1 divided by 1.6 minus 1 here 1 is water unit weight for gram per centimeter cube void ratio will 0.675 then we know porosity n equals to void ratio over 1 plus void ratio so porosity will 0 0.4029 therefore we know seepage velocity equals to discharge velocity over porosity here discharge velocity is 9.5 into 10 inverse 3 and porosity is 0 0.4029 then seepage velocity will 0 0.0236 centimeter per second okay thanks for watching my video